Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, today we are going to create a couple of cards using the Spellbinders Small Die of the Month Club Kit for this month, for November 2020. This month's the kit is so cute, guys, and it's even the name's cute. It's called Frankie Goes to the North Pole, and it creates two cute little snowmen on skis, and then there's a Christmas tree, and then there's a little sign that says North Pole. Um, you could die cut these out with colored cardstock. Um, I decided to use my Copic markers, so we're gonna die cut everything out with white cardstock. Um, when I die cut it out, um, I flipped them over and then secured some low tack tape behind them um, just to keep the images in the panel. It's just gonna be easier for me to color this way. I didn't leave all the coloring in, but I'm just sharing a little bit of highlighting that I'm doing with my C1 marker on the snowman and then also along the skis. The skis, we're gonna bring in a darker shade of gray too. I use C3 for those. Now once those are done, um, I'm gonna pop these out, but I'm gonna keep the little buttons of this snowball um, on my, my low tack tape there. This way I can color it in. Um, if you want to use colored cardstock, you could just reuse this die and die cut it out with the black cardstock. But I find just using a black Copic marker to color in those those um, buttons work just fine. Now I'm going to take my um, my black, my C uh, six, my C four, and color in the hat. Both these are actually both hats, guys. Um, one of the circles creates a hat for one of the snowmen, and then the other one's traditional hat. Here's where I went in with my C3, just to give a little added dimension. That's the best thing about Copic markers. You can do a little ink blending, and it causes extra dimension versus colored cardstock. Although if you do use colored cardstock, you could do a little shading with maybe a finger dauber with um, your oxiding. I think that'd be great too. I'm just finishing up. Um, I skipped, like I said, most of the coloring, but the tree was super easy. I just colored it in with my lightest green and then um, added a little detail color with my mid-tone green. And then I went in with my darkest green just on the very ends. And this is where the low tack tape on the reverse side kind of helps out. You can kind of do messy coloring <laughs> as I like to call it. But um, there is a pole for the North Pole. I colored that in with my reds colored uh, two scarves in, and then the gloves. I used teals and um, fuchsia pinks. And then um, for the the North Pole sign itself, the tree stem that we're putting together right now, and then also for the snowman's um, branch arms, I used some brown markers. But I adhered the main piece for the tree, it's just one solid piece, to the, um, the tree trunk. Now, I think it looks great like that. If you wanted to die cut out two for making it extra fuller, you could do that. Um, there is extra uh, tree branches that you could create um, decorative detail on your projects. You can create a wreath with those. Um, I'm adding them to my tree to make it just a little bit fuller. Super easy to do. Just adding little dots of glue and adhering all of these and then um, there's a star that you can see I added to the very top of my tree too. So it, you don't have to add the star. You don't have to make it a Christmas tree. You can make it a pine tree if you wanted. That's, uh, that's what I like about it. Everything's separate. But my tree is just about done. I'm going to put on some white cardstock so you can see what it looks like in just a minute. Um, there were four little circles um, in the die set. And I colored them in with pinks and teals. Um, and oranges, and I use, I'm going to use them as ornaments for my tree. We're going to go full-blown Christmas tree with this, and I only die cut out four, but if you wanted to put lots more on there, you very well could, <laughs> but I think four was, would be plenty. It's going to be a lot going on on my card here, so I didn't want to do too much color on my tree. And we'll add our little last one here. Let's grab some white cardstock so you can see what it looks like. Sometimes when you put it behind some white cardstock, you can kind of see a little bit better. But I think it's so fun. <laughs> okay, now let's put together our North Pole. Um, oh, this little piece here is actually a little snowbank. This can go behind your North Pole sign or behind your um, 
your Christmas tree here. There's a little slit in it. You just put your, I had some branches trying to come up here, so I'm gonna re push those down. But put your tree right behind it, and it looks like it's buried in a little snowbank there. So cute. <laughs> okay. Next, we're building our little North Pole sign. Um, I took the letters out. I didn't bother coloring those because I wanted, wanted them white behind my brown. I kind of created like a wood effect. Um, what I did was add glue behind it, my little arrow, and then I put um, put it behind some white cardstock, and I'm just trimming around it. I found it easier um, to do. So that's my little North Pole sign. And then I colored in my the pole with red um, ink and then I'm going to add glue behind it and tape this down or tack it down <laughs> to some white card stock and we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to use my scissors and we're going to just trim around it. On the very top I'm going to leave a little bit extra um, just so I can add my little North Pole topper. I'm going to add a little glue. Well, I think we need to turn, uh, trim it down a little bit more. We're gonna add a little glue, and we have somebody at the door. Hang on. <laughs> okay, so sorry about that. We are gonna continue on. Um, I am going to add the very top of my pole here, and the nice thing is you can do that in any color. I'm gonna add a dot of glue and place my North Pole sign, kind of wonky, and I think I need a little bit more glue. <laughs> I think when I added the glue, it went down in one of those stripes. So yeah, I have to put a, a good amount of glue there. And you can place it any way you want, in any color you want. It's super, super fun. Okay, the nice thing is there is one more piece to this North Pole sign. When you die cut out the snowbank, you it'll die cut out a little snowy strip, and that goes on top of your North Pole sign. I just love extra details like this oh my gosh it just really that little strip of snow on that sign just really made it look festive i love the way that turned out okay we're gonna build a snowman we're gonna build a snowman that's looking up first i'm gonna start off by using some double-sided tape and i'm adding tape behind the holes of the body of my snowman and be behind the faces of my snowman now um i'm gonna be doing some inlaying because I colored in all those small pieces with my black Copic marker. But if you wanted to save a little bit of time, you could just put a piece of black cardstock behind here and um, black will show through, which makes it easy. But sometimes when you inlay, it just adds that extra detail touch. Um, for the body of this one, I'm adding the black little buttons or they could be coal buttons. <laughs> we'll add those. And then for the faces, we're going to take the face with the coal um, smile. And I did color in each one of those little pieces. Um, they were itty bitty, but using your tool in one, it made it very easy to pick up because you just kind of pierced it and it will pick it up and then you can inlay it in each one of those little um, pieces. And again, if you wanted to, if this is a little too tedious for you, you could just put black cardstock behind it. But I didn't mind this. I just was just picking them up and adding them. No problem. It was easy because it stuck to um, my electric tape there. Okay, we're going to do the other snowman smile. There's two eyes and a um, smile. We'll add those. And then they're good to go. And then I did color in um, the other body uh, buttons blue. And we'll, we'll add those in a little bit. But we'll add a little smile. So those are good to go. Okay, we're gonna take the the snowman um, that has the coal smile. I'm gonna remove the release paper off of the back and I'm gonna add foam square behind here. And then that circle that we colored in with my um, black and gray Copic markers, that's actually the hat for the snowman that's looking up. So I'm gonna place my face right on the top there and then I'll add a dot of glue just above the smile and then we're going to take our little carrot and add our carrot nose. There's two size carrot noses. Um, the larger one goes for the snowman that's looking up and the smaller one goes for the snowman with the smile. Smiley face. I added a dot of glue on top of the body of my snowman. We're going to tilt his head just a little bit and then 
I think <laughs> it looks so fun. Okay, we have the little twigs for the arms. I'm going to add dots of glue to the bottoms of each one of these, and then I'll just take the body and tack them down. These can be uniform or wonky. Um, that's the best thing about building your own snowman. Super fun. Okay, next we're going to add um, our, let's see, we have our gloves. Now, when I colored in the gloves, I used um, pinks or fuchsias and teals. Um, there's two parts to the glove. You have the base part and then you have the um, top part. You could just use the base part if you wanted, but if you wanted a different colored cuff and you wanted to use colored cardstock, that's the best thing about having two different um, glove pieces. You can do that. But I want to layer them together and add them right on top of the, the twigs for the hands and it covers up those twigs so you don't have to use them if you just want them him to have the twigs his hand you could do that but i'm loving the way he looks he looks so cute i'm going to add a pink scarf and the the layer just lays right up below the chin of the snowman and then i'm adding the tail piece of the scarf now technically the tail piece of the scarf is supposed to go on the left side of the snowman but for this guy i wanted it on the right but I don't think it's that noticeable, but it would, that will flow right if you put it on the left. I'm going to add his skis to his mittens. And I am loving the way he turns out. Okay, I did, I do have his skis ready to go. For this guy, I want him to ski like I would. Um, and so I'm just going to spread them out a little bit and then, um, tack them down to the body of our snowman and I'm loving this. <laughs> we'll pull it down so you can see. Any cute? <laughs> okay, so that's snowman number one. I am going to rosy up his cheeks because it's cold outside after all. <laughs> and now we're going to build snowman number two. Basically we did the same thing and again I already inlaid my teal colored buttons. There is a piece that you can add to this snowman's hat. So I added a pink little ban um, I don't know what you call that banner across the hat. And then I'm going to place his hat a little wonky along with his head. So it's, I like my guys a little tilted, I suppose. It just makes them look a little more playful. But I'm going to next rosy up this guy's cheeks. And then I'll go ahead and add his arms and his mittens. Um, we'll add the mittens just a little bit. But for this guy, I kept looking at him and I ended up that I put the blue scarf on this guy and the pink scarf on the other one. And I didn't want blue buttons and a blue scarf. So we're going to flip flop buttons. Um, I would have flip flopped the scarf, but um, it, was, it was glued down real good. So buttons were easier. So I'll just take the black buttons from our top snowman and add them to the bottom snowman and then add the teal buttons to the, our top snowman there. And I think that the pink scarf with the blue buttons just look better. <laughs> kind of did a switcheroo-y, but I like the outcome. Okay, we'll add the tail piece. This time I'm going to, I added glue to the right, but I'm going to slot it over and we're going to add it to the left. This is where it's supposed to go. You'll see how it fits on the curve of the, the scarf, if it's better. Okay. After we have this done, we're going to add dots of glue to our twigs, add our mittens, and then for this guy, if you die cut up both of the skis, you get the left and the right. But I die cut out one of the skis. This way you can create a snowman that's um, skiing at an angle. Um, so that's what I did. I die cut two of the same skis, colored them the same way, and then I'll add a dot of glue and we'll add one snow, uh, one ski under the snowman here. And then the other one we'll place just above him. And it looks like he's um, skiing sideways. And you can do the same thing if you were to die cut the other ski twice, he would be skiing the opposite way. So lots of options. I did add, um, again, his mittens and his little skis to his mittens. So those are all the elements that you can create with the Spellbinder Small Die of the Month. Um, Love the name of this. Frankie Goes to the North Pole is such a cute name. But we're going to go ahead and create our first card. I have some printer paper and then three pieces of colored cardstock. Um, we're going to start off by adhering my watermelon fusion 
to the very bottom. I'm just going to use my tape runner. All of these pieces are cardstock from Fun Stamper's Journey, and I'll list them down below. But they're nice, bright colors, and I love that against the white background. Next is Cool Pool. We're going to add that just above our watermelon fusion. Last color, I believe this is Cream Sickle. I don't know if they have this one anymore, but it's a nice bright orange. I added that just above my cool pool. I'm going to trim off my printer paper so we have basically a, a homemade piece of cardstock. And then I'm bringing in the alphabet die set from, um, I believe, the July large die of the month club kit. Any kind of alphabet die set you have, guys, would work. Now, I, I tossed between, I wanted to create my own sentiment for this card. I tossed between woohoo. W-O-O-H-O-O -O -O, or Yippee. <laughs> so I ended up going with um, Yippee. I thought the Woohoo would have too many O's and we only have one O. But um, I lined up Yip and then the E on the end and then we'll die cut this out and then I'll run the P and the E again um, in that opening so it spells out the word Yippee. We're going to use the negative piece for our card today but the positive you can keep for another card. We'll set our alphabet aside and then I die cut out three extra snowbank pieces, which created um, the very top of your uh, North Pole sign. I want to use those extra pieces and add them to the very top of my um, Yippee sign. We're going to make this nice and snowy on top. I just added a thin line of glue and added all three of these. There's a little bit overhanging, so once they're lined up, I'll use my scissors and trim off the left and the right and we are good to go. Now I also cut out two uh, snow banks just using scissors kind of made them a little bit wonky. Um, my yippie is going to go on the lower snow bank here um, but I do want to add a little dimension so I want to pop up the word yippee but we're going to add the in um, inlay the pieces first. I'm going to add a little glue just where the center of the pea would be and then um, I lifted it up and then took out the um, positive P's and it left me with the negative on my snowbank. This is good. So they're positioned perfectly. When I pop this up, you can, it completes the P basically. I added foam adhesive. We're just going to remove the release paper and then this is going to go on the very bottom of our snowbank. Um, before we add any more, I was thinking about sparkle. I was going to use some glitter glue, but um, Fun Stamper's Journey has some very fun um, sparkly glitter. It's called um, Journey Sparkle Cuts. I thought we would add that to the tops of our snowbank. Since I knew I wasn't going to wait for it to dry, I'm going to go ahead and add adhesive behind the very top snowbank. I'm going to add a very thin line of glue just over the edge, and then I'm going to bring in a piece of scratch paper and my sparkle cuts and then we're going to add some glitter. If you don't want to fuss with um, glitter, you guys could use again the glitter glue. I think the diamond stickles would be really pretty with this too. But this is a little bit more chunky, like snow, so that's why I chose this. But that is our glittery snow bank. We'll add that to the very top of our card base, which is a standard A2 size card base. And then we're going to do the same exact thing to our bottom snow bank. And I directly adhered that to my card as well. Okie dokie, I added my snowman and he's going right in the center. I did pop him up with some foam adhesive. Then I have these little snow banks left over. I have three of them, so I'm going to add um, one to the left here, a little bit overhanging, and then two to the right. And if you wanted to add glitter to them, you could, but I'm just going to leave them um, without glitter. I'm going to trim off the excess that's overhanging. And I'm loving the bright colors. So cute. Now, if you wanted to, again, do all your die cutting with colored cardstock, you very well could. But I think just the, the, the coloring detail that you get with your alcohol markers makes it a lot nicer. Okay, I'm using a word bubble from Fun Stamper's Journey. Um, I'm not sure if it's still available. If it is, I'll link it down below. But I picked the one that has the heart in it. And then I, I trimmed down a small piece of my watermelon fusion cardstock. We're going to add that behind the heart um, with foam adhesive. So we have a little bit of dimension with this little thought bubble. 
And then I took that leftover piece from our, our die cutting out and I trimmed down a snowbank that went from the top left to the bottom right. Um, this way, um, my snowbank is, is at a sharp angle. Um, I thought it'd be good for a corner. I also trimmed down a piece of the Cool Pool cardstock. It measures three and three quarter inches by five inches. So it's gonna leave me a border around my card base, about a half inch border. We're gonna go ahead and adhere that panel to our card base right in the center. And then we'll go ahead and add our snow bank. And you can see I already added my glitter to that, which is still wet. So I'll add adhesive to my, my Cool Pool panel. Lovely. Okay, now we're gonna add our Christmas tree. Um, I am going to add the snowbank just below the Christmas tree. We'll add a thin line of glue right behind the trunk and then behind the snowbank too. I went ahead and used foam adhesive behind my snowman. We're gonna add him to the white part of our snow. This is a pretty steep hill. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna add our, um, our North Pole Maybe. The colors of the North Pole just weren't flowing right for me. I used reds and browns, and um, for the rest of my elements on my cards, it was bright colors. So that's why I was debating on whether I should put it on my cards or not. But um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna redo this with different colors. So I did the North Pole arrow with my pink Copic markers. And then I did die cut out the poles of my um, of my sign here with the cool pool, and then I matted them behind some white cardstock. I'm gonna I die cut out two of them. I wanted to, I thought you know what, since we're at it, let's make our pole a little bit longer. So I, I added two together and um, glued them to a, stri a thin strip of white cardstock, and then I did use um, colored in my. The top of my pole with orange so it all coordinated a little bit better and I like the way that flowed nicer <laughs> plus I like that you could double it up you can make this super long if you wanted to <laughs> but I added my little snow bank underneath we're gonna scoot over our little heart and then I'm gonna glue down my North Pole in the blue section of this card and I think it's just the perfect touch <laughs> especially with the Christmas tree in the back Okay, I think that looks so fun. Once we have that adhered, we are gonna bring in some Journey Glaze. Journey Glaze is like a glossy accents. So when you go, and when I, I'm gonna add it to the eyes of my snowman here, and um, it came out really fast. So I have uh, I have a bigger eye than I should, <laughs> but, but you know, I think when it dries, it's not gonna be so bad. But um, it does go on a little bit cloudy, but when it dries, it does dry crystal clear. So I added it to the buttons too and to the Christmas ornaments that we created. I'm going to put it on the inside of my little heart so when it dries it'll be nice and shiny. And then to the top of my pole and to the snow on my North Pole sign. We're going to add a little bit to our snowman noses, make them shiny. We'll do both of them here. And then those. That finishes off my card today guys. It's got some sparkle in there, some fun bright colors, but I loved how festive and how cute these are. I think it'll make anybody smile. <laughs> if you guys are interested in the Spellbinder Small Die of the Month Club Kit for November, the link will be down below. I encourage you guys to check it out. Have a fabulous day. Thanks so much for joining me. We will see you again real soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>